All right, here's the sitch, guys. I've been crook as a dog all week. Wanted to go skate this week, but I was sick. So I've just been laying on the couch. It's my last day off today. Wanted to try go out and do something productive, film a video for you guys. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm just walking down to this chill drain spot. Got my paint, my bag, got my camera. It's gonna knock out a piece. It's been a minute since I've painted, so just wanted to do something outside the house. I've just been watching Netflix on the lounge, you know, being super lazy. I'm really starting to get used to the scenery out here, which I shouldn't take it for granted because look at those mountains, guys. Gorgeous. Look at this place. I just got to duck underneath this fence and then go paint in that drain right there. There's some houses there, but it's a really chill spot for the most part, you know. Kind of overcast day here today. It might rain later. <laughs> but I'm glad it's been buffed because I painted in like the last good spot. So this is basically the spot here. It's a tunnel and then it opens up with some walls. But as it goes up, it turns kind of flatter. So last time I painted here, I'm probably gonna go here again because it's good coverage. But the thing about this wall is it obviously gets a lot of sun damage. So if you paint here, the sun's just gonna ruin your piece and it's just gonna crack off the wall, but whatever, you know. As long as we get a piece done today, I'm happy. So here's a really, really rough sketch of what I'm gonna go for today. I don't know if I'll do the extra doodads. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. See how I go once I put the outline on the wall. But this is basically it. And I just got a bunch of like random colors. So hopefully it all comes together.
I didn't really put an aura on this piece. Just kind of little lines and doodads. I don't know what you would call this aura. Extended aura, I don't know. Aura off the wall, like vans off the wall. Cause it's not right up against the outline. It's just kind of, it's kind of there, I don't know. To be honest, this piece can't really get any worse anyway. So I'm just gonna chuck on a little bunch of yellow here and there to spruce it up a bit. It doesn't matter. No one's gonna see this piece anyway. There we go. What do you guys see? Better, worse, same? Let me know. Piece is done. I've got some leftover paint. I don't want to carry it home, so I'm going to do evening mob story right here behind me. Who else is going to come down here and paint apart from me anyway? So I don't feel guilty about taking up the good spots. If you're wondering how I'm able to carry a kit of paint, a GoPro and my camera and a bottle of water, check out these uh, sick tote bags we just dropped of evening. Head on over to eveningmob.com, join the mob today. And uh, yeah, you'll be able to carry a bunch of paint and all your other painting accessories and needs at eveningmob.com. Cause I've been sitting at home all week. I've become like mentally fried. And I just want to make a note to you guys that if you guys are feeling like fried mentally, you don't wanna move, you're sitting on the couch, just laying in bed all day. The worst thing you can do is like not move your body. Being able to get outside, getting some fresh air, getting a little bit of exercise, just doing something with your hands, putting your mind to work is going to help you tenfold. So I know it's hard to like get up and get out of bed and get up off the couch if you're feeling fried, but yeah, it's like the best thing ever to just try to go out and do something you know another thing you can do is just drink hella water like if you're feeling fried drink as much water as you can because uh being hydrated probably definitely helps with your mental mind state i'm not a doctor i'm just telling you by experience like